Hello everybody, hope you all are having a wonderful day. So today I'm going to show you guys how I did this roller set and some lessons that I learned in doing the roller set. Um, so as you could probably guess, this isn't necessarily a tutorial. So I've seen a lot of roller set tutorials and I have a couple of different issues going on. Number one, my head is really big. Number two, I have a lot of hair, like my hair is really dense. So instead of doing the traditional one row down the middle, I tried to do two rows down the middle um, of the large rollers and I started with some pretty large rollers up at the top of my head and then as I went down I went to smaller velcro rollers. One of the tips that I saw a lot that I did think was really helpful was um, sectioning your hair off. So basically you don't want a section that is wider than the roller or um, the width of the roller and you also want to make sure that your section is smaller than the diameter of your roller. Um, this will help with drying time and everything like that. The next thing that I will say is that if I do this again, I probably won't use the Velcro rollers. And a lot of the people who I saw do this, they said that the Velcro rollers help them um, have smoother hair and they probably had a different kind of hair type than me, but I felt like the Velcro rollers pulled a lot of my hair out. Um, so if I do decide to do this again, I will definitely just use magnetic rollers. Um, and as you can see, even with the Velcro rollers, I still had to clip most of these down with um, some hair clips. So I don't really feel like the benefit of it was that great. And as you guys will see, I have not been combing out like every single section with my um, detangling brush and if I do this again that's another thing that I would change. I just feel like the curl itself would be smoother if I had taken the time to detangle each um, section that I am about to curl with my detangling brush. One thing that I will say that I think I did pretty well was holding my hair out taut in the opposite direction that I wanted to um, curl it. So as you guys can see, this is my handy dandy scarf. I use this in like every single video. I honestly think that this channel belongs to my scarf and not to me. So um, I went ahead and I tied a scarf around my hair and then I did sit underneath a hooded dryer. I didn't show that part for about an hour and a half and I think I slept in these as well. So I'm taking these out and as you can see, it's not super defined. I think Another thing that I would do differently is use smaller rollers next time. So they say that you should make sure that your hair can go around the roller at least two times. And the hair in the front could go around the larger rollers more than twice. But I just felt like the curl, it, it wasn't dropping the way I wanted it to. And as you can see here, this is me struggling to get that Velcro roller out. And in all of that manipulation, I think that that's where a lot of the tearing came in through my hair. And specifically like the ones towards the back were really difficult to get out. And um, if you guys are like me and you patience is not one of your strong suits, this is definitely something that's going to frustrate you. Again, why I said I would probably go with non-Velcro rollers. If you do go through uh, Velcro rollers, I would say, I don't, I don't know if this would help. I started from the front unrolling my rollers um, because that was the way that I put them in but I think it might have been more helpful to do them from the back but I also think that I got hair just kind of like caught and tangled um, and I don't know if that has to do with my hair type or anything like that but like I said um, it was just really frustrating. So initially I was not super pleased with my results. Um, I haven't even seen my hair at this point. But I could just tell the way that it was going that I wasn't super happy with what was going on. Um, but I try not to give up on a style until I have time to like fix it up. Because you can see right now like there are parts that don't look very defined. But I did decide to separate some of the curls and twirl them with my finger just to kind of see what kind of look I could get from that. 
My goal in this hairstyle was like very Felicia Rashad, like late 70s, early 80s, like big hair, super like earth mother type of deal. Um, and my end result, I did feel like I got those, but I don't think that the process has been perfected for me yet. Um, so I just want to share this with you guys, some of the lessons that I learned doing this roller set. Um, this is kind of what it looked like after I finished sorting it out and then I went ahead and I decided that I didn't want to wear it this way because um, it was just like a little messy so I pinned it back and this is a preferred look. Another thing that I didn't love was that this style did not last long. So I'm definitely going to try this again in a couple of months. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!